Hi guys. Hi guys. Hi guys, can you hear me? Good. Good evening. Hi, I'm sorry. Eh, can you hear me, guys? Todavía me escuchan con mucho eco. Is there some echo? Not teacher. That's okay right now. Okie dokie. All right. So good evening, guys. Really nice to see you today. Um, so hi, Wendy. Great to see you. Eh, Jorge, I saw you super early. Thank you so much for joining. Hi, Crisia. Good evening. Uh, Jose, hello. Good evening, guys. How are you? How are you doing there? Is everything good? Everything okay? Really good. But how do you say when the day is so fast, quickly? Um, it depends because we normally can say it's really hectic uh, because you are really busy. Uh -huh, so you don't have time to, uh, to think. <laughs> So we normally say the day is super hectic. When you feel the, the day pass very Fast. quickly. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Was it quickly for you? Yes, I don't, uh, I don't feel the day. Mm, okay, okay. So it was too hectic. So busy. You can, you can use the word, yes. Uh, busy, uh, you can also use the word hectic, right? So that sounds all right as well. Mm -hmm. Hi, Norma. Good evening. Great to see you. Thank you, teacher. Good evening. How are you, miss? I'm fine. I'm fine. Very good. Okay. That is really nice to hear. Guys, uh, what about the rest? How are you doing? Is everything okay? Everything good? Are you doing Hi. fine? Hi. All good. All pretty good. Eh? All right. Really nice. So thank you so much, yeah. guys, for your time. Thank you for joining uh, today's session. Uh, really cool to have you like one more day. And we are going to get started with session number seven today. Gracias, guys, por conectarse eh, tempranito, right, for your attendance. And solamente pues hacerles el... el Friendly reminder um, that uh, Isabor no requiere uh, más del 80% de asistencia, right? And uh, guys, as I always mention, si tienen alguna dificultad, you know, try to join the session, that is just fine. Y solo nos indican que van a quedarse como listeners or something is going on and, and that is totally fine. So thank you so much, guys, uh, for that. Uh, well, guys, eh, iniciamos ahora, like, um, working a little. We started yesterday, actually, with unit number two. Eh, but today we're going to continue. Yesterday we were talking a little bit about, eh, like, anger, some expressions related to anger. Guys, ¿qué recuerdan de ayer? What do you remember from yesterday? Do you remember any expression that, from the ones we checked eh, yesterday? I remember some expression to, to calm down somebody. Oh, okay. So they tried to calm you down, <laughs> but I think it didn't work. Okay. What else, guys? Do you, do you take remember it? Any... I'm sorry? Take it easy. <laughs> okay. Take it easy. Yes. I remember about the video that we saw yesterday. Okay. In, in which uh, they say they talk about the the method with five letters a b c d e okay very nice yes and i remember you mentioned you don't hit the last letter <laughs> so that was uh, still pending all right okay nice so yes exactly yesterday we talked a little bit about anger and anger management uh, so today we're going to like kind of covered a couple of things. Okay, Chrissy, thank you so much. Okay, got it. Uh, Mr. Merino, hi Nelson, good evening. Thank you so much for joining. Uh, Tatiana, thank you so much for joining. All right, guys, let's get started. In that case, we are going to begin today with a little, um, with a short activity. Uh, give me one second. 
Uh, guys, do you have a good memory? Uh, is your memory good or right? Is your memory okay? I want to believe it's okay, teacher. You want to believe it's fine. Already. <laughs> so, guys, let's do something here. I'm going to show you one picture, but please, guys, no vayan a tomar la screenshot. Don't take a picture. Don't take a screenshot. So, le vean la foto. Look at the picture. And guys, you have 30 seconds to remember todo lo que puedan. Remember as many things as you can from the following picture. Um, please no les escriban, don't write them down. We are just going to test memory, all right? So this is a picture, all right? 30 seconds, guys, you got 30 seconds. Okay, guys, okay, let's do the following now. So I'll give you 30 more seconds, guys. And now let's make a list. So let's see how many do you remember? De cuantos se recuerdan, guys? How many objects uh, do you remember, All right? Let's make a list, please. I'll give you like one minute, two minutes maximum. Write them down, guys, escribanlos, please. Write down whatever you remember. So you got 16 objects. Uh, let's see how many you can remember. Okay, guys, ready, ready? Do you have the objects? Do you need more time? Are you ready? Yes. Okay, very good. So how many objects do you remember? How many objects do you have in there? 
in my case, teacher, 13. 13, okay, that's a good number. 13. Nelson, how many? How many do you have? Jorge, how many do you have there? Hi, Ariela, good evening. 14, teacher. 13, 14. Susana, hi. Hi, Silvia. Okay, hey. okay. So 13, 14, who gets more? Nelson, how many do you have? Hey. Eight. Oh, okay. Let's see. What do you have, guys? Okay. Or, or let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Wait. Let me ask you this. I have some questions for you. Uh, mm, give me one second. Okay, guys. No question number one. Uh, so. In the in the picture, there is a number. What is the number? Nine. nine. Okay, number nine. Yes. What color is the umbrella? Uh, blue and white. white. Oh, blue and white. Is it white? Okay. Um, <laughs> and black. I just see normal. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Um. So in the picture, uh, there is an animal. What is the animal? No. Okay, that's a dog. Dog yes. and bird. Dog uh, and bird. Oh, you're right. There are two. So a dog and a bird. Okay, next yeah. one. In the picture, there are three means of transportation. What are the three means of yeah. transportation? Bicycle, bike, bike, car, bike. car. Bike. a plane. Yes. By plane and car. Yes, very nice. Next one. In the picture, there is a weapon. What is the weapon? Weapon? Weapon, yes. A weapon. Is something that you use maybe to hurt somebody, uh, to cut something, uh, maybe a tree, maybe a flower. So to cut, ah. to cut down a, ah. a weapon, right? Flower. Hitch. 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 Mm -hmm. So a weapon, guys. So a weapon is an arma. So weapon. Mm -hmm. What is Hitch. a weapon that you see in the picture? Ah. I saw an hacha. Oh, an yeah. axe? Yes, an axe. Okay, so an axe. All right, let's check what else we got. Um, next one. In the picture, how many candles are there in the cake? How many candles are there in the cake? I don't remember. <laughs> Does anybody remember? No? Three? No, nothing. Okay, one. let's take a look. Let's check it out. Yes, there is only one little candle. Hey. The umbrella was blue. Okay, blue. very nice. Um, and we have a lot of different uh, things right there, like handshake, a tooth, a hat, or a birthday hat, or a celebration hat. Okay, so 13 is not a bad number. It's actually very nice. It's really good. Okay. Nice guys, really, really good. Now we are going to move on a little bit. Um, today, guys, we are going to talk about problems, issues, conflict, and all of that. But um, I have like noticed that um, sometimes we need more vocabulary. So guys, let's start working today with vocabulary. We are going to practice a lot with different vocabulary, verbs, expressions. Um, in order to talk about the conflicts or in order to talk about the problems. So give me a moment. Oh. Wait, I am presenting the picture that is not the correct one. So, okay, this is the one. So uh, look at this one, look at the picture, right? And uh, a moment here, give me a second. Okay. First, guys, we will start working with this part with a vocabulary, right? And uh, look at this one. Uh, look at the picture. We have 11 words, all right? And guys, uh, I'm going to give you like five minutes. No, I'm going to give you less. I'm going to give you like three minutes uh, to check it out. So... Read the words, try to remember them, try to refresh them. And in one, one two minutes, guys, we check the meaning, right? So two minutes, guys, just for you to check.
Okay, guys, so did you finish? Uh, did you get the words? Did you understand most of the words right here? Hi, Diana, good evening, great to see you. Uh, do we have these words? Hello. Are they new or not much? 50-50, uh, teacher. 50-50, <laughs> okay. Uh, so guys, let's repeat, all right? Let's get the, the pronunciation first and then we practice with them. First one, struggle. 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 The people say struggle, 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 struggle right? Uh -huh. So struggle. What is a struggle? struggle. That is struggle. effort, right? Struggle. So we struggle every single day. We're going to practice this in a moment. So struggle. Next one, guys, survive. 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 You got this. Next, attack. 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 Fight. 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 Uh, oh, we have a struggle again. All right, let's skip it. Okay, defend. Uh -huh. defend. 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 Defeat. 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 Wound. 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 Retreat. 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 Surrender. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay, very okay. nice. So look at this. We have that struggle is like put a lot of effort but a struggle is kind of batallar right when you say 
Oh, how are you doing? I estoy teniendo problemas con algo. So we normally do, you don't say I have problems with something, but you normally say I am struggling. So the expression is like, I am struggling. So that is like, I am working hard. I'm putting a lot of effort, but I don't know how to solve something. So that is a struggle. What are your daily struggles, guys? What are your, your daily worries? What are your daily struggles? Like, um, arrive on time to work. Okay, Good arrive on day. time. Wake up early. Ah, yes. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> so this is like things up, that you fight every day. Uh -huh, get up wait, early. Wait, get up early. So uh, get up early, arrive early. What is this a daily struggle for us? When we have to to do many things at this at the same at, at the same time. Okay, okay, yes. Or when you have a lot of reports to complete, a lot of things at the same time. Um, my struggle normally is with time, you know, because uh, I have to be on time, you know, in the different places I have to teach. So my struggle is to move to one place from one place to another and be on time. So that's a struggle, right? It's not a problem. We are not talking about a problem, something serious now, but it's a struggle. That is effort or when you put a lot of effort into something. So in Spanish, we use the expression estoy batallando con, or I'm having difficulties with. So that is the expression uh, that you have right there in number one, that is a struggle, or I am struggling with, right? But uh, it's, not, it's not an issue. It's, not necessarily, it, because this can refer, I'm sorry? It, it's soft than an issue. Or... Mm, the thing is that an issue is something that is already there. So an issue implies a negative feeling, right? I have an issue at work. Oh, I have a situation I need to solve immediately. But a struggle, no, because the struggle, you just put effort into that. So you say, um, I, for example, I need to wake up early, but I struggle. I struggle every day to wake up early, to wake up early so what is i struggle every day it's not like i have a problem no a struggle is i have to you know find a way right i have to put a lot of effort into this i have to hurry up so a struggle is not an issue not a problem but it is related to difficulties so that is why this word is one of the most useful that we can find in this scenario uh, so that is a struggle. The next one we have is survive, but you know this. <laughs> we have attack, we have fight, you already know them. You, you know the word defend that is very similar to Spanish. And then we have defeat. It says an unsuccessful ending to a struggle or contest. What is defeat, guys? Have you ever felt defeated? When you lose the content. Exactly, when you lose. That is why it says an unsuccessful ending. But not only when we lose an activity, sometimes we feel down, right? Something doesn't go the way you want it. And you're it like, oh, uh -huh. yeah. okay. I don't want to continue. Oh, I am so bored. I don't, I don't want to do that. So that is defeated. So you feel defeated, right? You feel like, oh, I cannot continue. I'm not good. I'm not good enough. I'm not, uh, um, I'm, I won't be able to make it. Sometimes, for example, with English, we are like, oh, I don't want to, you know? So we feel defeated when you say, okay, there is nothing else we can do, but that is a really bad feeling. Mm, next one we have is wound, right? It says an injury to living tissue. So if you cut, part of your skin, part of your arm, what you see, the red open space that is called a wound or an injury, right? So both injury or wound. A retreat, the act of withdrawing or going backwards. Um, so this applies more like for companies that uh, they want to participate uh, like in an auction or something. And then they say, okay, 
not anymore, stop. Let's finish this and you go back, right? That is called retreating. So you're withdrawing, you go backwards and you stop. Or when a country wants to attack another country and they know that they will not win. So they are like, okay, you know what? Stop and go back. Don't continue this. So that is retreat, go backwards. And, and I think that you know the last one that is surrender, uh, relinquish, possession, or control over. So when you say surrender, it's like, okay, you know what? I give in. So that is, we use the expression give in, right? Um, I surrender. So, okay, you won. I won't continue. <laughs> I won't continue fighting. I won't continue, um, I don't know, talking. So I surrender. Okay, there's nothing else I can do. Um, or if you are familiar with um, some, uh, yes, kind of, well, it's more like ceder, so it's more like giving, but yes, yes, you can also use give up over here. So giving, uh, so ceder or give up, mm -hmm. surrender. But surrender is when you tell a person, okay, you won. And give up is when you don't want to continue something. So there might be a little bit of differences. So guys, uh, before moving on, before we practice speaking, um, I want to make sure that you got uh, the vocabulary and everything. So do me a big favor, please. Uh, can you write um, a sentence? Can you write a full sentence with the words that are new for you? So if I don't think survive is new, but if it is new, write a sentence please that makes you remember the meaning of the word so let's work only with writing uh if you want to do it in your computer let's do it if you want to do it in a piece of paper let's do it guys i'll give you five minutes write a sentence for every new word please only new vocabulary only the new words please
only uh, with the new vocabulary, right? Not the words that you know, just new words. I have one teacher. Mm, okay, what do you have? With the struggle. Mm -hmm. Every day I am struggling with the traffic to enter and also to go out of my work. Oh, that's a really good one, okay. And with defeat. Okay. Yesterday, my soccer team was defeated by <laughs> the Eternals' enemies. I, what are you a fan of? What, what team or which team are you a fan of? Just remember that the Alianza team soccer lose with the fast. Oh, so your team is Alianza. I want to believe that. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, because it sounds kind of poetic that you say by the eternal enemy. So I was like, what? <laughs> okay, okay, it makes a lot of I, sense. I was looking for a for a word to, to mention that uh, El Gran Partido. Or, but it didn't work? I, I don't remember the word. <laughs> what, was it, but it was, a, uh, was it a good match? Uh, it's, it's like a, how do you say? Uh, I don't remember more than eternal rivals. Oh, okay, okay. You can use nemesis too, so by the nemesis as well. Mm -hmm. That is like for the, uh, the team that is like your enemy all the time. All right, very nice. Uh, guys, do you have any other new word? Do you have no? Are you familiar yes. with struggle? Are you familiar with the rest? I write um, two sentences. Okay, what do you have? Um, using retreat and defeated. Okay. Okay, the first one said, yesterday I retreat from my responsibilities. And the second one is, I felt so defeated when I couldn't make it to the call. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I felt that one. Um, but when you say that yesterday you had to retreat, uh, why? I think I didn't get like much information on that. So you had uh, to retreat from responsibilities, you said? Uh, maybe it's like an expression before you felt like you couldn't make it. Like an exam or... Um, but that would be defeated, right? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I mean, the sentences are quite fine. I totally get that. Uh, mm -hmm. But I don't know, just probably like, uh, the thing is that uh, to write the sentences is like for you, right? To try to remember uh, the meaning of the word later on. Okay, yes. okay, but that's, they sound nice. Just Tatiana, hi, good evening. Hello, teacher. Uh, I have three sentence with struggle because I this is a new word for me. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, the sentence is getting my kids to ex to a school on time is a daily struggle because oh okay because it is uh, is related with effort. I I think. Oh, okay. Yes, exactly. But that is a really good example. Yes, sir. A struggle is not a problem, but it's like something that you have difficulties with. I, I think that that would be the best way to define it. Exactly. So taking okay. your kids to school, waking up your kids, that's a daily struggle. Having kids complete the homework, you know, that's another daily struggle. <laughs> Anything else, guys, that is a daily struggle. <laughs> Eating healthy, I guess it's a yes. daily struggle. Do exercise. Oh, do wake exercise. up early. Wake up early. Connecting to English classes. <laughs> okay, anything else? <laughs> Not falling asleep in classes. I mean, okay, I totally get that. So exactly, a struggle is that putting like a lot of effort into something. Okay, I'm super glad to hear that there are not like many words that are kind of unknown to you. So that is a really good thing. But now I got the following, guys. So talking about this one, talking about a struggle list and everything, take a look at the different, uh, at the next 
Uh, okay, Mary, no problem. Okay, Susana, thank you. All right, take a look at the following exercise. It says here, um, there is a list of regular difficulties or struggles, right? Uh, that are very common at the workplace. And it says here, so what problems have you encountered at work? Um, so here we have some of the most common struggles we have. Uh, they are not problems, but they are difficulties. We have, for example, discrimination, bullying or harassment. Guys, do you remember the meaning of harassment? Do you remember what harassment is? I don't remember, I don't remember teacher, the, the meaning, but I, I hear about that. Okay, so uh, have you heard about the zero policy? No. Mm, probably this is a new word for you. Okay, uh, so harassment, guys. Harassment. Um, are you familiar with the word stalking? A stalker? Yes. Yes. Okay, so um, harassment, right, is when a superior or a boss, a manager, etc., uh, wants to have, let's say, your favor. Um, mostly we referred or we use the word harassment to refer to sexual harassment, right? So maybe your boss, your man is like, oh, you're beautiful. Or if it is a woman, ah, oh, you're very handsome. So, and they want to have something extra from you. Yes, exactly. So we have bullying, right? When a person uh, takes you as a pet in harassment, that is more a little bit sexual. And the companies have a zero, uh, I don't know if you have heard about the um, zero, wait, zero, I don't remember the name, zero, zero, zero. Policy. Yeah, but there is something else in between. Zero harassment policy, but there is another one that means that uh, they don't allow, they don't permit harassment at all. So if okay. you feel um, that your boss is over you, you can immediately go to a supervisor. So, or you can immediately go to a manager and that is, you, they get uh, serious uh, issues. There. Yes, gender, in, in my job. By all violence gender violence or something like that gender violence mm. in my job know. in my job the name of that is uh, at the station uh, at the they, station that is the name that they okay. call, that that they call like that when when they talk about all this thing Okay. Uh, the name of my job is at the station because you can have you write it down please at the okay. station oh at the station that is at but at the station or at the station together oh, it's really interesting that's a new expression uh, like let me let me write mm -hmm. okay that is like an internal word, I believe. Yeah, okay. that is internal name, I think, but mm -hmm. it's related with all these these things. Are you talking about? Okay, so harassment is an issue, teacher. Mm, yes, that is not a struggle. <laughs> that is an issue. Okay, so that is a problem. That's a serious um, problem especially now, right? But it happens a lot, guys. It, it happens at the station form. Oh, at the station form. Oh, really interesting. Okay. That's a new, um, uh, let me investigate if that is the, the formal term or probably it's just something internal, but nice, at the station. All right. So we have some other difficulties or struggles that company have like performance issues. Obviously performance, we are talking about your numbers, right? How good, how proficient you are, a bad job fit or lack of training when we have no idea, but we do the things or we got a job and we don't know what to do. A not job satisfaction, unmotivated, introverted employees, gossiping employees, we already checked the word gossiping, um, lack of communication, right? Payroll issues, when they don't pay you, you work overtime, 
right? So overtime, OT, but they do not pay your overtime. They do not pay like the money you deserve. A conflict between staff members, absenteeism, right? That is that you disappear. <laughs> so absenteeism or simply you are sick and you don't go to work. Mental health, that is super common now, uh, like depression, anxiety, super common after COVID and personal life issues. So here we have ranked them from the most to the least common in a company. For example, th thinking about your company, what is the, the most common uh, struggle or what is the most common uh, thing that your company faces? Is it bullying? Is there a lot of bullying in your company? Is there a lot of discrimination? Or simply nobody feels okay, nobody feels motivated to work, or they are super famous because they don't pay over time. So what are the most common? Guys, we are going to rank them in groups so we can you know, discuss and we can share your own uh, experiences there. And uh, let's do the same. So in groups, Try to come up with one ranking, please. Uh, from one to five, just five, right? The most common. One is the most common. Number five is the least common. Guys, we have from five to 10 minutes to do that. So let's complete the ranking, please. You can take a screenshot, you can take a picture. Um, if there is something that is not included here, you can include it as well. So guys, let's go to the groups, please. We have 10 minutes. Peter. Yes, miss. Um, can you send me again the join for the group? I mean the group. <laughs> um, absolutely. Are you in? Okay, wait a second. Are you in your cell phone? No. In the computer? Yeah. Okay, in the computer, in the menu um, that is at the bottom, uh, you have one option that says breakout rooms. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. It should be able to take you back yes. to the group. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. okay, thank you. Welcome. Teacher, I will not go inside to the group because I had to do a presentation. Why, Mr. Villeda? Presentation for your university? No, for my work. It's a, Are you still working? Yeah, because I had to do a presentation for uh, Tuesday to present results. Oh, are you an accountant? No. No, not exactly. I'm like a supervisor. Oh, in an English or in a Spanish company? I'm not sure I remember. Yeah, I work for Claro. Ah, okay, okay. Okay, Mr. Um, Villeda, it's all right. Uh, but then you have to make the presentation in English too for us. Oh. <laughs> No, that's okay. Take your time, sure. no problem. Thank you for being here. Uh, Manuel, yes? Uh, sorry, I, I have to leave the breakout room because my, my, my microphone was not working, but oh. I see in this main uh, session already. It, it is working, yes. It's working, yes. Um, the breakout that room. Sounds, that sounds weird. Yes, yes. You couldn't listen. You uh, yes, I, I I couldn't listen, but I I can, I couldn't work. I couldn't talk. Oh, that is really weird. Okay, yes. um, but but I can listen. My to microphone, you. my microphone, was not working? Okay, L let's give it a try one more time. You are in the computer, right? Yes, a computer. Okay, so in the computer, in the in the on the. At the bottom, right, yes. of your uh, computer, you will see a menu. And there is yes. one option that says breakout rooms. So click on that uh, and let's give it a try. If it doesn't work, let me know. This is super weird. Yeah, yesterday I have it. I have this problem yesterday. You had the same issue? No. No, I mean, yesterday no, I heard you were participating. No, yes, yesterday, yes, yesterday uh -huh. I... I no. 
I want. Let's say no. there is an internet a momentum. <laughs> Probably it's I just suppose. the internet. Uh huh. That sometimes it's not charging, not loading. Yes. Let's give it a try. Let's go to the group and if yes, not, because... come back and let's see what we can do. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. No worries.
Alrighty, guys. Thank you so much for coming back. Uh, and the rest will be coming back in some minutes. Let's just wait for them. All right, guys, thank you so much for coming back. So let's check really quick. What is the list that you have for the most to the least common issues or difficulties that we have at work? We have, for example, this represents like absenteeism. This represents like multitasking, but we have a lot more. What do you have as the most, the most common uh, situation at workplace, guys? What is number one for you? So which do you consider is number one? Uh, Claudia, what do you have as number one? I have lack of communication. Oh, lack of communication, why? Uh, maybe because in every department, in every area are some people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they want to be uh, los preferidos. <laughs> They want to be the favorite. Yes, the favorite, and they don't share the all information with all the uh, partners. Oh, okay. Um, does it does it does it happen in your company? Oh uh, yes. Okay, so it means that you don't get the information you are supposed to get. Yes. Oh, okay. But does it affect you? Sometimes. How does it affect you? Sometimes because it, sometimes is the information is very important and they don't share. Okay. And the boss, or my boss, yeah, is always busy and they don't share the information. Oh, okay, okay. Do you need to pay for the consequences of that? I mean, like, do you lose a due date or something important, a deadline? I don't know. Um, or do you miss it? Sometimes I miss things. <laughs> okay. For that. Because because you don't receive the information. Yes. Ah, For okay. example, uh, the day of the Independence Independence Day, mm -hmm. we're going to celebrate, and they, uh, they, my partners, they're going to use dresses, um, uh, typical. Ah, and they were going to wear costumes. Yes. Um, okay. And supuestamente. <laughs> I am, I am one of that. I'm going to use the dress, but they don't say to me. And so the day it was that the day of the presentation. Okay. I say I don't know anything about that. And everybody expected you to dress up. Yes, and they get angry, but no. it's not my fault. They don't say nothing to me. They get mad at you because yes. okay, yes. Oh, that is bad. <laughs> okay, so yes. that is. Okay. Oh, interesting. I was not expecting that. All right, all right. So lack of communication. Guys, do you agree with Claudia or do you have another one as number one? I, I consider that could be also conflict between the staff members because they occult information from Claudia. That is yes. my number two. <laughs> Ah, what? Okay, so number one is lack of communication, and number two is uh, like having difficulties between a staff. Uh huh. Yes. Oh, okay, okay. Wow, so everything is related to human beings. <laughs> so um, not because of money, not because of, okay, interesting. And that makes the, the step number three for Claudia maybe is unmotivated. <laughs> Claudia, that is number three for you, unmotivated? 
performance issues. Oh, performance issues. Okay, Back performance issues. issues. Okay, okay. Guys, what about the rest of you? What do you have as number one? Yes, Manuel? Yes, teacher. Uh, I consider, uh, in my opinion, uh, for me, uh, all the list uh, is, is common in companies. But, okay. Uh, uh, some some one of these issues it depend uh, for for other issues for example in mm -hmm. my opinion okay uh, i i said to my partners okay. in the room that uh, i i saw uh, along these five, uh, 15 years uh, that i i have been working in my company uh, for me, uh, since the first day I was okay. born uh, until uh, today, I didn't have um, training, but I okay. could a uh, bad, bad, bad job fit, but your fit or lack of training is, a, is a, an important issue. Mm -hmm. Does uh, depend on not your satisfaction? Okay. It is because uh, sometimes I, I, I have uh, felt uh, uh, a little unmotivated. Oh, for, okay. Yes, my my in my opinion, my mm -hmm. person. But Mister uh, Palma, what do you do in your workplace? Yes, uh, I am in charge for uh, for the mailroom. Mailroom. Mailroom uh, department. A mensajería. Mailroom. Okay, but do you work alone? Uh, no, I work. Uh, I work for um, a company that provides a professional service, but but I am in charge of the the, the mailroom. The mirror, yeah. No, I mean, uh, do you work alone in the sense that do you have subordinates? Uh, yes, one one person. And you have never been sent to to a training? Ne no. Uh, Wait, well, this is a training. <laughs> yes, uh -huh, but besides, but I, I try. I, uh, uh, in the case, I, I I try to to training about my my knowledge. It my on your own. Yes, but okay. Uh, the part of of or part of the company they don't give you the chance. Never. Yes. Wow, that is that is like unbelievable, you know. Um, but 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 I I am um I am uh, I like to to remind uh, I like to you like to learn new things. Yes, uh, uh, I uh, for for me ne I never have problems in the last of the of the list. Uh, no, and the in the sec in the uh, mental health. Uh, you don't have issues with mental health. Yes, no. Oh, okay. Because uh, I am uh, extroverted. You are an extroverted person. Okay, okay, that is really nice to hear, and I'm really glad you are not experiencing mental uh, health issues because this is very common. Yes, Sofiana, tell us. Uh, I was sharing with my with my team about the in in a call center. Uh, I hear from for many partners they always talk about depression and I think that is the first the first one in in my job because everybody say yeah um, I feel depressed I and everything is related with an, anxiety. anxiety anxiety yes and actually we have a psychology psychologist department the name of wellness uh, we we can do a day per per week if we want uh, so for 
in my case, that is the number one. And, and we have a lot of problems with absences because uh, everybody, everybody, wants to to, everybody wants to go to the Seguro Social and in my case, that is uh, very common when okay. somebody is, is absent ah, in El Seguro. Uh, okay. And what my is job the, is that uh -huh. is that frequently like Monday. Monday is. Every mm. Monday. Yes, every Monday. But but is um the medical leave is it paid? Yes, sometimes. In uh -huh. my job, no uh -huh. teacher. Yes, my exactly. I know, I know. So in call centers, uh, medical leaves are not commonly no. paid. So if you decide to go to Seguro Social, if you decide to go to your health insurance, uh, you know, uh, and it get the services. You lost your your attendance bonus. You oh yeah. Uh, they right. discount the they discount the day and the the seventh day. The seventh, yes. All right. So if you decide to go to the Seguro Social, it's on you your own. have to know you have to know you are going to lose money. So, but uh, some people doesn't matter. <laughs> Don't, the thing the Don't thing is that, that yeah i mean you are totally aware i think that when you decide oh when i go to seguro so you are aware i mean you know what is going to happen but it's part of the uh, mental health you know that oh, i don't want to go there <laughs> and that is super common okay claudia says that that happens normally on mondays okay yes interesting very frequent yes oh because they pay they pay the day on monday Yes, if you go to the Seguro Social, they pay that day. But in your company? Yes, in my company. Ah, okay. Yes. <laughs> I mean, um, uh -huh, depending on the company, right? <laughs> okay, very nice. All right, guys. Thank you so much for sharing these. Um, definitely, those are quite um, difficult things that we encountered in the companies. Uh, guys, before moving on, I just want to check this word uh, together. So we have this word and repeat it with me, guys. Uh, we have ansa ya ri. So ansa ya ri. So we have a four syllable word, right? Uh, so repeat it with me, guys. Ansa. Ansa. Ya. Ya. Ri. Anxiety. anxiety. So that is anxiety. Anxiety. Yes. So it becomes kind of a four syllable word. So anxiety. I think it's super common. Everybody's so anxious uh, and we develop anxiety, right? All right, guys. Nice, nice. Now we are talking about like some uh, issues that happen at work. And now, um, in order to work a little bit with this, Manuel, I don't know if you have a question or your hand was up from the previous activity. Mm, okay, I think it was just up. Okay, guys, we are going to work a little with listening, but in order to complete the following activity, this is not related to work, which I think is amazing, but I have some conversations that are super, super short. Okay. In the, in the chat, guys, I shared with you an audio. Hopefully you can listen to this. This is an MP3. Uh, the activity that we are going to do is kind of complex. Um, first, you got to, we are going to get in pairs, right? We are going to get, um, hopefully, um, everybody who is not going to be, who is not being a listener today. So we're gonna get in pairs. Then we are going to listen to the track. Uh, but I'm going to divide the conversations. In the exercise, there are four conversations, super short, but we are going to focus a lot in listening for detail. So you're going to listen to the track and you are going to write it down, right? Write it down as if this were a dictation exercise. When you have it ready, when you have the, uh, the conversation ready, um, you are going to read it. So you are going to uh, read the conversation in groups, I mean in pairs. And we are going to try to do this with the same intonation, same pronunciation, same speed, all right? Um, so read the conversation with the same intonation. 
uh, speed, right, and pronunciation. So, for example, if the person in the conversation said, oh, my God, you have to say the same. <laughs> so this is going to help us a lot um, at the moment that we try to uh, get um, a them, or teacher. work or fight a little bit the accent we get. Tell me, Jorge. All of them, you say no. that are for conversations. There are four conversations. I'm going to give you only one specific conversation. Okay. Um, so you can work only in that one. And then we are going to, give me a moment. And then uh, only, also you have to decide, right? If you are going to be the first person, the second person. So you can focus and listen carefully. You can play it in groups um so you can get the full part give me a moment let me just make sure who is here uh, Silvia are you with us okay Manuel is not gonna be there Ariel Susan is not just a listener give me a second Okay, give me a moment. Just let me uh, separate the ones I got and the people who are being listeners. Give me a sec. You lose the attendance, Manuel. Sorry. Um, Sylvia, are you with us? Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect, perfect. Okay. Okay. okay, guys, I'm going to invite you to the groups. Um, Please, guys, download the no. download the conversation, and we are going to do the following. Wait a second. Wait a second. So, Jorge and Silvia, your conversation is number one. Uh, Claudia, Wendy, your conversation is number two. Norma and Tati, your conversation is number three. Only conversation number three. Mm -mm. Ariela and Manuel, your conversation is number four. So there are four. Look only for your conversation, listen to it, write it as if it were a dictation, and then you have to reproduce exactly the same. Same intonation, same speed, same pronunciation. Um, we are going to do something that is called shadowing with English. Y veamos si nos funciona. Let's check if it works. Um, download, please, the, the MP3 that is in the chat. And let me know, guys, if it works. Can you listen? Can you reproduce it? Can you play it? I'm downloading, teacher. OK, OK, OK. Manda a guardarlo, teacher, sí. Uh, yes, in case it doesn't work, I'm going to send it to WhatsApp too. So just for you to keep it because when you go to the group, uh, you will no longer have it. So English team. Okay, guys, so if you're if you have it, you are free to go to the group, right? And start working with your partner. So decide who is first, who is second. So you can focus only on your specific part, right? You don't need to write all the conversation, just the part that is uh, for you. So, okay, guys, so we can go to the group. So Claudia, we can go. Norma, you can go. So Norma Tatiana. Ariela Manuel. All right, guys, let's get going, please.
All right, guys. Thank you so much for coming back. Um, so there are just a couple of questions I have for you guys about this exercise. Um, let me just uh, move a little bit to Spanish because I really want to get like everybody's opinion on up on this one. Guys, uh, so question. Creo que es la primera vez que hacemos un ejercicio de este tipo, right? Especially listening is un poquito di bastante difícil para nosotros trabajarlo. But I want to listen to your opinions. What do you think? ¿Qué tanto comprendieron del ejercicio? 70, 80, 90. How much did you get? Like a 90%. Okay, 90%, which is amazing. Now, ¿qué, ¿cuáles fueron las partes difíciles? Which were like the difficult parts from it? The accent the and accent. The, the fast okay. that okay. they are. The British accent. Okay, so the accent was a little strong, all right. Besides accent, vocabulario, was it difficult? Mm -hmm. Not much, right? Not really. Kind of. <laughs> so we just got a new word with Claudia uh, that we, I would like to share, which is important, I think. That is the H. So uh, Claudia got this in her exercise. And that was like, uh, we struggled to get that. <laughs> OK, but that was really nice. We learned something today. Um, so OK, second question, guys. Um, so, ¿sintieron que el ejercicio sí funciona? Do you feel this kind of exercise work? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Uh, I feel that I had to repeat and repeat many, many times to understand the exercise. But, but at the I, end, but after the 20th time, did you get yes, it? I, yes, I reached to write the the whole conversation yes very nice very very nice yes. and that I'm is the objective sure you understand <laughs> each exactly and listening is actually that guys remember that the more you listen the more you get involved the easier it, it will come right normally in a movie we just oh okay whatever happens but in this kind of exercise we want to get as much as we can but i'm super happy so si lo escucharon 10 veces 20 veces i'm glad that by the 20th time you said ah no era imposible si lo entendí i got it right and that is exactly what we want to try uh that whatever listening you got in front no importa el acento después de escucharlo you can say oh ya lo entendí i got it me tomo tiempo, me tomo práctica, but I got it, right? That happens with every single thing. So I'm really glad uh, that worked for you. So, nos falta la segunda parte del ejercicio because this exercise eh, va acompañado de una técnica que se llama shadowing. ¿Alguna vez han hecho shadowing, guys? Have you ever done shadowing? Yes, no. teacher. No. That is the name in my job when you have to see what the other person do Mm -hmm. uh, that is the name shadow exactly but we are going to do shadowing in a different scenario <laughs> no word related so uh shadowing is a, a technique that helps a lot with intonation and pronunciation so that means um when we are children and we try to learn spanish ¿qué es lo que hacemos? Uh, we normally uh usamos una palabra que es como arremedar right so you just say ah me gusta so what do you do as babies Ay, me gusta. So we try to do the same with the same intonation of the other person. So um, there is a moment in which, uh, ya sea que ustedes quieran mantener su acento, or you want to change your intonation and your accent a little bit, nos va a ayudar muchísimo con fluidez. It's going to help us a lot with fluency. So guys, this exercise, la segunda parte va de la siguiente forma. Uh, ya lo escribieron, ya lo tienen, you already got it. So mañana, guys, tomorrow, vamos a intentar decirlo. We're going to try to have this conversation, siempre en parejas, but con la misma velocidad, la misma entonación, sobre todo, right, de la conversación que escucharon. So si la niña, eh, creo que hay una conversación, no recuerdo si es la de Claudia, in which la niña habla super raro, she speaks super weird. So Claudia, well, She's lucky crying. you. <laughs> she was kind to like, yeah, like crying, but like this, so you know, try to get some expressions, try to get 
Um, son words que normalmente nosotros no utilizamos. The more you will listen, um, y es un fact, entre más escuchamos, nuestro speaking va a mejorar. Our speaking is going to improve porque escuchamos frases que no utilizamos diariamente. But then you got it, nos la memorizamos y ya las utilizamos. So that is what we are going to try to do tomorrow. Vamos a presentar las conversations. So si tienen un par de minutitos en el trabajo, guys, intenten repetirla, intenten escucharla, try to listen. Nos ayuda con listening y con pronunciation too. Listen. Y luego la repetimos here in classes, right? Uh, so um, I have some other activities, but we're going to continue tomorrow. Okay, guys, um, thank you so, so much for your super attendance today. Solamente antes de dejarlos ir, let me just go and get your attendance, right? Y me regalan confirmación de asistencia too, please, para que nos quede en la grabación en caso de auditoría. So I got, um, miércoles. Guys, ¿qué día es ahora? What day is today? Tuesday. 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 Oh my God, what is wrong with this? Okay, so I got a, I know, wait, I am in somebody's. Um, okay, so I got Ana Rebeca por aquí, Ana Raquel por aquí, creo que vi a Ana Raquel. I think I saw her. Oh, cool. Uh, Ariela. Um, Thank you, Ana. Okay, got Ariela, Claudia. Present teacher. Thank you. I think I saw Christian. Present. Yes. Thank you. Hi, Miss. I saw Diana. Jorge. Hello, hello. hello. Yes, yes. Uh, Mr. Oh, Rios. Yes. I didn't see him. Uh, Mr. Palma. Present teacher. Thank you, Maria Concepcion. Present. Hi, Miss. Hello, Maria Elena. I think I saw Maria Elena too. Uh, Mr. Villeda. Mr. Valle, right here. Nelson. Nelson, ya está mejor su inter. No. Parece eh, un, un poco, mis. Sí, se le escucha todavía un poquito robótico. But, ok, hopefully mejore. Eh, Silvia. Mm -hmm. Susana. Eh, Tatiana. And Wendy. Okay. Me, teacher. I got you. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, guys, so um, I already got your attendance. So thank you so, so much for uh, coming, guys. Gracias por unirse a las sesiones, right? It hopefully, um, y el día de mañana trabajamos un poquito con uh, intonation a little bit. Uh, guys, um, no, Susan is kind of sick. Uh, Silvia, uh, si está por acá. Silvia, todavía uh, espero su tarea. Please envíame a mí, send it to me over. <laughs> okay, uh, Mr. Palma, será que tiene unos minutitos? Can you stay some minutes? Para la one on one session, please. Thank you guys. The rest of uh, of you are dismissed. I'll be seeing you, you tomorrow. Have a good night. Bye. 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 Bye guys. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. Have a good night. Thank you, Mr. Palma. Yes, give me some seconds. I think I have somebody here. Okay, there we go. Uh, so, gracias, eh, Mr. Palma. Le voy a robar un poquito, un par de minutitos here para la sesión de one-on-one. -on -one. Eh, first, eh, lo que hemos estado haciendo con algunos compañeros es, como es la oportunidad, you know, para tener one-on-one, eh, -on -one, like, get together, let's say, um, so I have been assigning some uh, homework assignment or some activities uh, de forma bien personal, you know, um, in order to address the things that we are having difficulties with. So um, just to make it different. Más que un tema que no esté claro, more than a topic that is not clear. So hemos estado trabajando eh, tareas específicas, you know, to improve our abilities. Uh, so, Mr. Palma, I, well, first, uh, thank you so much for your attendance. I always uh, listen that you're participating, you're super active in classes. Um, I see you from the very beginning of classes, so that is super amazing. 
Um, now my question is, what can I do to help you improve your English? So que considera ahorita that is uh, giving you some issues or you are struggling uh, para poder ver cómo lo podemos apoyar, how we can guide you in the process. Uh, I consider it um, it um, myself, teacher. Uh, it it depends for my effort in in general, not okay. depending, not depending for you. Uh, just a uh, it more important, very important. Your your leading in every in every single class. Uh, because uh, we learn, we learn um, how to uh, the, the, to make the the best pronunciation, the meaning of uh, unknown uh, some words uh, or or phrases, um, but. The most important, I think, uh, for to improve uh, my my learning is uh, practicing. Practicing. Okay. Okay. Uh, but 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 obviously, uh, at some point, we say, "Oh, I'm having difficulties with this," or "I'm having difficulties with that." Uh, to be super honest. Um, I'm going to turn to Spanish a little bit here, sir. Uh, siento que su listening is super bien. So your listening is really, really nice. Um, de hecho, ahora, with the exercise, uh, I think you got a lot of things, which is good. Uh, comunicándose, you always try to communicate, and that is really, really nice. Solamente quizás por ahí tengo solamente una sugerencia. Okay. Because um, sí. no se comunica, se comunica super bien. Pero lo, lo que yo diría es intente variar el vocabulario. So try okay. to vary the words that you use every day sí. eh, para que lo haga mucho más florido. So yeah. creo que you are on the way definitely to becoming an advanced speaker. Uh, quizás la única diferencia va a ser el tipo de palabras que usted utiliza. Ya la escuché utilizando conectores súper bien. I was like, wow, they, they use connectors in a very nice way. Uh, so now, me el falta. punto quizás sería, el punto, es, mm, I don't think you're missing, quizás sería de variarlos, you know. Variarlos, uh, pero no lo varío porque no los tengo, o sea, necesito aprender más. Yeah, no. I, I would say solamente varía como las expresiones that we normally use. Vaya, uh, ok. Me va a ayudar muchísimo, bueno, porque a mí me gusta leer, ¿verdad? me gusta okay. leer. Pero no he tenido tanto tiempo para leer porque cuando usted lee un libro. Es una, demasiado largo. Uh, eh, un, no sé, hay mucho por qué leer, ¿ve? pero honestamente, y le, le, fíjese que he estado, he estado repasando, yo le tomo capturas. Uh -huh. a, a, cuando usted eh, manda algo ahí en la pantalla, le tomo fotos y lo ando revisando, pero, pero me cuesta, me cuesta. Eh, memorizar todo lo que usted manda yo hago mi mejor, mejor esfuerzo de repasarlo pero yo pienso que no es como de estarlo así como repasando con alguien para que se me quede acá, ¿verdad? porque ayer tuvimos eh, tuvimos bastante eh, que aprender ahí, ¿verdad? varias cosas que... Ah, bastante vocabulario vamos a repasarlo ¿Ah? también eh, ¿Cómo aparece en Whatsapp, Mr. Palma? Eh, fíjese que ¿Cuál es? No, no está en el grupo ¿Cómo no? Pero no le, no le he puesto nombre por oh, eh, no. O, o sus, los primeros dos dígitos de su número eh, Es el 7854 787854 Ok, I think I got it Ok, vamos a hacer lo siguiente We're going to do the following Le voy a escribir uh, here in Whatsapp Y le voy a enviar eh, un ejercicio de lectura. Me dice que le gusta leer, ¿verdad? Right? Yo la he Sí, me encantan las eh, de historias así de, de como Tom Sawyer, eh, Huckleberry Finn. Ok, lastimosamente esas historias normalmente le van a exigir uh, un poquito más eh, tiempo, right A little bit sí. of time y que les dé seguimiento. Vamos a intentar hacerlo, eh, vamos a intentar leer cosas bien cortas, like super short things donde podamos tener vocabulario, but we can also uh, listen to the pronunciation, right? 
So I'm gonna share one little story. Y vamos a intentar matar dos pájaros en tiro here. So le voy a compartir ahorita una historia. I'm gonna share one little one. Estas historias tienen listening. Entonces usted escucha y la va leyendo al mismo tiempo. So you listen. Eh, probablemente encuentre vocabulario nuevo. Probablemente no. But déjeme ver de cuánto es el audio. So es de un minuto con 21. Ok. Ok. So, lo que vamos a hacer es the following. Si se fija, eh, you, have, you get the story. O cuando le da click, you click on the story. En la parte de abajo está el vocabulario. Barely, baseball, bad, blast, crazy, not, not, promise. Entonces, vamos a intentar crear vocabulario. So, first, le voy a pedir que cuando tenga tiempo, escriba eh, oraciones con las palabras que son nuevas, with the new words, para que vaya haciendo su propio colchoncito de vocabulario, right? And, eso no es necesario que me lo envíe. Lo que sí le voy a pedir es que me resuma la historia. That you try to summarize this story en menos de un minuto, eh, dándome también su opinión de la historia. Pero en un minuto máximo, en one minute max, me habla de la historia, me habla de su opinión, para que nos dé un poquito de fluidez también. y can give us a little bit of fluency. Um, so, eh, y lo bueno es que como acá tiene la historia y tiene listening, Usted va a escuchar la pronunciación de las este, palabras. Este es el link el que me ha mandado. Sí, le acabo de enviar el link. Ahí mismo usted encuentra eh, el audio. El audio está en la parte dónde, de arriba. Lo, dónde, lo, ¿Dónde lo encuentro el link? ¿En Google no sé. o en YouTube? No se lo envía a usted. No. <risa> oh my no. God. O sea, sí me envió, sí. me puso hi. Ah, hi. pues sí, ok. Eh, le da eh, clic. Le da clic ahí no, donde en el no link. No me reenvía, ¿no? Solo me da chance de, de como de copiarlo nada más. No le abre. Directo, no. O sea, cuando es un link directo, usted le da clic y ya lo manda al lugar, ¿verdad? al sitio. Pero este no. Oh. Solo, se lo voy a reenviar nuevamente. Se lo voy a reenviar para que vea que... Wait. Let me, let me try one more time. Ok, try it now. No. No, no me deja. Le envié otro. I sent you another one. Porque por eso le preguntaba, ¿puedo copiar nada más? Pero ¿dónde tengo que pegarlo? Por eso le preguntaba si en Google o en tu directo. Porque oh, y, ¿Y el que le acabo de enviar tampoco? Tampoco, es más corto todavía. <ríe> Qué raro. Super weird because if you take a look. Uh, ¿Está en la computadora o are you in your phone? No, estoy en, estoy en la computadora, pero eh, estoy viendo su mensaje en, en el teléfono. Qué super weird. Ok. Ok, so intente copiar y pegarle. So try copy and paste en Google and okay. it should work. Si no le abre, let me know. So um, son pequeñas como, porque son, o oh, búsquelo como 365. No, no lo va a lograr ver. So, se llaman eh, 365 Short Stories. Son historias cortas. So, 365 Short Stories. Eh, no vamos a comenzar desde la básica, no vamos a comenzar desde la primera, right? Eh, pero hay una historia que se llama There is a story that is called A Noisy Neighbor. Es la, la historia número 15. Story number 15. Comencemos con esa. Eh, igual, right, usted la puede ir leyendo para que trabajemos con entonación sí. también, puede irla leyendo mientras la va escuchando And, uh, y me envía un minuto solo un minuto eh, el resumen y su opinión de la historia, right uh, veamos si sí. nos va funcionando this way veamos si nos sí, funciona se lo mando al, al whatsapp a su, a su sí, WhatsApp. mándemelo a whatsapp para hacerlo okay. más fácil y que envíe el libro okay. easier uh -huh. okay. ok, y también tengo una duda, fíjese que en este módulo yo ya estoy tratando de avanzar todo lo que pueda. De hecho, ya hice el examen final porque me gusta. Oh, okay, cool. Es que no está muy complicado. Solo mm. que sí me han... Hay dos temas que sí, porque traen, tienen que ver el, 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 el pasado participio y el simple, simple present participio. No okay. Todavía. Y también en, en la página... 33, si no me equivoco, del manual está el ING. ING. Gerens. 
Yo, yo tengo el, el, el manual en, en físico, ¿verdad? Porque, okay. eh, tomando. Y, y, y pues ahí lo que nos da es eh, solamente agregar incluso, incluso la indicación, la indicación que nos da aquí es solamente tener cuidado de comenzar con la capital lake, capital mm. letter, eh, el verbo, y el ING al final, y luego lo demás solo uno le da el copy-paste, porque al final así es, pero no me agarran ninguna. ¿De, de qué unidad se recuerda? Eh, sí, es de la, de la cuatro. Ya le digo. Vaya, si no, hagamos lo siguiente. Eh, sí, para guiarme un mandar. poco mejor. Y es, exacto. Tome la captura, me las envía uh -huh. y con gusto yo la reviso. So, sí, la, yo sé ser... que no hemos llegado por ahí, ¿verdad? pero a ver. No, pero si la quiere terminar, no hay ningún problema. So, send it sí. over to me. Ok, cool, cool. Uh, so, tome la captura. Take a screenshot. Motivating, creating, o sea, eso solo se, o sea, solo es de agregar el ING y, y el examen no está nada difícil porque ahí le da la frase y le da el verbo que, que incluso le dice el verbo Solo hay que agregarle el... el Pero no le está agarrando, me dice. No, ninguna, ninguna. Vaya, va, envíemela, yo reviso. Puede ser okay. que haya un error en la estructura, right, en la plataforma o algo más que debamos de cambiarle. Send it over to me, yo con gusto lo reviso. No problem. Okay. Ok, okay so, gracias por su tiempo. Lo siento, ya le robé ¿Sí? más tiempo. Thank no, you no so much, problema. Mr. Palma. And I'll be seeing you tomorrow. Se me envía la tarea. Send it, send it yes. homework over to me. All right. Thank okay, you. Thank Have you a good night. Have a good night too. Bye-bye.